Okay, so uh, let's see, I want to do a match pairs t test, and here you can see how I have it set up in Excel. You could make another column of the differences here, but it takes a little bit of trouble, and you have to load some different packages and things in order to be able to read it that way into R. So I'm going to suggest that, at least for now, we just have two columns, one called pre and one called post, or before and after, or whatever else you want to call it, but just have the two columns number columns there. Again, make sure you've saved this as a CSV file. I'm going to open R, and you can see I've already put in a command here, data.p, and then I'm going to equal my read CSV file. I'm going to browse to that. And now I'm going to attach data.p. Make sure it's there. And now I'm going to, I can just, I can run the paired test right now just this way. I'm going to go dt.test post pre I'm going to put alternative is equal to greater. I'm assuming that this was a test where I wanted to see if the scores went up. And then I'm going to put paired equal t for true. And there we have it. Uh, t is equal to 2.597 with a p-value of 0 0.006, so you would reject at the 05 or the 01 levels for that matter. And you can see with a one-sided test, it's going 1.55 to infinity because it's just doing a one-tailed thing. If you want a confidence interval, you really need to run it, rerun this as a two-tailed test. And I'll do that in a minute. In fact, I'll do it now. But really, the only reason I'm doing this is to get the confidence interval. The test that I have there is actually the one that I want. But now I can get my confidence interval. That's pretty interesting. 0.99 to 7.79. I'm going to have to look into why that gives you such a different number there. Um, but I think I'm going to trust this for the confidence interval. I'll do it by hand later. If it comes out different, I'll erase this video. Okay, so now what I would like to do is get a box plot and a histogram, but of the differences. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new variable, difference. You could call it improvement or whatever you want to call it there. And I'm going to do post minus pre. And then I'm going to just see what's in there. There it is. There are my differences. And so now I can just do a histogram of the difference and a box plot. Difference. Okay. Got to remember each time to go click back into the workspace over here. You'll be typing for no to no avail. It's my box plot. I would like to get the mean the differences. And the just stick an arrow up there and well, didn't need to really do that. And we get the standard deviation. And then the length or sample size. It'd be better if I'd spell it right. There we go. And there is the matched pairs t-test.